Braintree District Mencap Society was founded over 50 years ago by a small group of parents who wanted their children with learning disabilities to receive an education. Charles Leake's house in Braintree takes its name from the society's founder and is now home to the Gateway Club. Every Thursday the Gateway Social Club welcomes adults with learning disabilities. But what activities can the members expect to enjoy? There are many different activities at Braintree Gateway. Every week we do something different. Um, tonight we are Morris dancing. Next week we are doing some Keep Fit with a Keep Fit instructor. We have discos, we do yoga, we do pottery, we do singing, we do flower arranging, <laughs> cake decorating, everything. You name it, we do it. They do some amazing things. They're, they're very um, adventurous. If, you know, they like to push the boundaries with the children, so just because they've got a learning disability doesn't mean that they cannot do what other children can do. Every Thursday is different. Discos are very popular, <laughs> so you could have 120 people here, um, 40 of which would be helping out, 40 volunteers or carers. On a choir tonight, you'd probably have 30 carers to 50 members. The society is dependent on help from volunteers that give their spare time, as well as donations from its members. These donations are all important to the continued running of the society, as there is more to Braintree Mencap than just the Gateway Club. Basically there is more than Braintree Gateway Club to Braintree Mencap. Um, Braintree Mencap offers a from cradle to grave service. So we have a play and respite scheme, a Saturday club for our children, between the ages of four and 19. They do all manner of different things. It's obviously much more structured and routine than Gateway. Um, Gateway's for our adults. It's our social evening. That runs every Thursday. Coming here has, does have a positive effect on the home life. It gives, well, gives us all a break you know, f uh, from each other really. Cameron has a break from us and we have a break from him and he enjoys it. We wouldn't, he wouldn't come here if, if he didn't enjoy it. To do all of this, we need to have a certain amount of paid staff that can do risk assessments. We need to have first aiders on site. Our volunteers are so important to us. We have a lot of volunteers that are willing and they give their time up, you know, and it's, we admire them and greatly. Um, however, we need money to do this and money runs short, so any funds gratefully received. Should Braintree Mencat close down, that would be disastrous for Braintree, not just for us, but for you know, a lot of families across the Braintree district. So to me that's an unthinkable thought that Braintree Mencat would be no more. I'll say that from the bottom of my heart. For further information about Braintree Mencap, you can visit us online at www.braintreemencap.org. From here, you will find all you need to know about becoming a member, how you can help by becoming a volunteer, or simply how to make a donation. You can also contact us via email at braintree.mencap at virgin.net Or finally, you can write to us at Braintree District Mencap Society Charles Leake's House 7 Cockage Hall Road Braintree CM7 9DB if I, won, if I won the lottery on Saturday, I'd do this for nothing. It's the best job in the world, seriously.